YouTube! Rhino, Al, we have a beer that I've been waiting to try for years. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to get this. I had to use one of my, I had to use one of my contacts to get some bottles of this. And basically what it was was an LCBO worker friend of mine who had eight bottles show up at her store and she threw two of them away for me. <laughs> and two of them away for her and her husband. So only four bottles ended up on the shelf. This is incredible sounding beer. Yeah, so uh, I've had the Kentucky Breakfast Stout, the KBS. Mm -hmm. This is the CBS. So this is from Founders in the U.S. It's in uh, Michigan, I do believe. Uh, it. There's a lot of information on the bottle. I don't even remember. There is a lot of information on here. I don't remember where they said it was, and it's not prominent, which is Yeah, odd. Grand Rapids. Grand, Grand Rapids, Rapids, Michigan. Uh, what do we have here? Um, do, 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 do. This is best before the 20... The, uh, October 27th, 2018. It's 11.7% alcohol. Yeah, and it wow. is an imperial stout brewed with chocolate, coffee, and aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. So we were talking about that, right? Is it is it a bourbon barrel that had maple syrup in it? Is it a maple, maple syrup barrel that... That they put bourbon in, which would be an awesome sounding bourbon, let's be honest. Man, if they had barrels that were infused with maple syrup and you aged the bourbon in it, but honestly, yeah. So there's a Mountie City. It doesn't course. matter. It sounds fabulous. And yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited. And a very, I mean, even a Northwest Mounted Police, right? It's yep. even like old timing, which is weird. Oh, yeah, he even, has, he even has a nice big hat. I want to get one of those hats, actually. Which one? The... That one. The actual Mountie hat. Which one is it, though? It's the, it's the, like... The, oh, I don't like those hats. The straight-rimmed ones. Yeah, why? Oh, you wear anything. Like I, that, I would, you? you're right. I, I basically would wear anything. No, you I have a pattern of yourself. I have a lot of shame in shit I wear, and even this no, hat. No. Why do you have shame in that hat? I don't you know. have the bloodline to wear that hat. I know, I know, I know, but... Uh, the brim bothers me. The weird. It's different. I I'm not wearing change. my. I'm not wearing my albino one right now. Oh yes. Yeah, we can match. Like the. Uh, I don't know. What did you call these kinds of hats? They're the uh, the flat bills. Flat bills. Oh man, she's a dark. There you are, sir. She is a dark mistress. Look at that. Now see, I usually try to use like the same shaped glasses so I can tell that we're getting the same amount. Oh, I'm not worried about that. We just need enough to try it. Gosh. I mean, that's what we're we're after. Oh, it's, it is, but we've had all great beers tonight, so I oh. haven't wanted to waste any. Oh, it's been fantastic. It's, been, it's blacker it, than the black blood of the earth. It is, but it's got a red to is it? it. Yes, very red. Oh, mine isn't as thin at the bottom, so I can't. Okay. Oh, um, you're right, it does. Right down the bar. Okay. And the head, the head is a nice mocha head. It looks very much like Guinness in the head, and the Some color crack of pops there. until you see the redness. So it it it's different. So Don't I smell haven't smelled it yet. Smell that. Oh my God! It's like they got roasted proper, right? Oh my, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's exactly what you want in a stout. The roastiness. <laughs> there's 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 some coconut in there. There's there's. A, it's probably the cocoa. Um, um, it's the chocolate. Well, uh, probably. The barrel probably brought it out because certain woods will bring out a coconut flavor. But so there's some coconut. There's some beautiful. It almost smells like green coffee. It has that like sharp coffee scent. It's cocoa butter in it. Oh, there you go. So it might be because they use real chocolate in this, um, right? I'm not getting the chocolate as much because I, I mean I'm getting something that is chocolate, but the, the I'm alcohol. Getting cocoa. I'm getting. It's, 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 yeah, I can't. Uh, uh, see, I'm personally getting coconut. I'm yeah. getting, I'm getting coconut. I'm getting a little bit of, well, not a little bit, a lot of like green coffee, and uh, a little bit of woodiness, and and I'm getting an alcohol astringency that attacks yes. my nostrils when I yes. really breathe in. I'm getting the astringency. I'm getting the, what's the it barrel, in the, the wood, but what's weird? Oh my god! It's oh my god! But you know what's weird is you're smelling stuff that I'm not. I'm well, no, getting. We, we all will have this taste. Both taste and scent, right? Is is also on. It's on your paradigms in your life that affect you had before, right? And they also are are based on even just the amount of receptors you have of each type. But I'm getting roasty coffee. And, I'm and getting, you said green. Yeah, I'm getting and that was, like sharp, sharp coffee. I'm getting a bit of the woodiness, and I'm getting getting the woodiness. 
and I'm getting a, uh, what was it again, one second. The astringency of the alcohol, which, yeah, it does attract your nostrils, which is funny, but coconut. it's, it's 11% alcohol. Oh yeah, you said coconut. I'm getting the cocoa. Like, right in my face, it's like... I get cocoa out of the bottle. Okay, now I'm going to try the bottle. I want to talk about the difference of what we... That is weird. It just smells like Guinness. Oh, see, I get, I get a lot of chocolate out of the bottle. Yes, but I get chocolate from Guinness. You don't get chocolate from Guinness? Not really. I get, like, just a uh, weird roastiness out of Yeah, Guinness. a roasted malt, which is very... I don't know. I guess I consider that reminiscent of chocolate. Hey, you can consider it reminiscent of whatever you want. You're not wrong. Remember, taste is subjective. Yeah, it seems very. That's um, that's the why I like bit. having I like having somebody else on camera because you get to actually discuss what you think of things instead of just being like, oh, I taste this, and there's nothing else, right? That's just the base of it. I've never discussed beer too, so take what I say with a grain of salt. Oh, you're but, doing well. Yeah, I mean, like it it smells like you're running a little stoked, is what I'm trying to get at. I mean, it does have some chocolate, but oh my God. when you smell the beer. Slancha. Yeah, you're right though. That alcohol, oh my god, it just. Hey, I'm gonna bite you hard. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, wow. Yeah, they didn't balance the alcohol well. But, um, yeah, it's. See, uh, now, I know that. Oh, I, I don't know how many really high alcohol beers you've had. I have. Roquefort's like my favorite beer. No, I, no, I get Roque that, but 10. is that really, really the main one you've had? Roque 10? All the time. Okay, no, no, I was only asking because I've had a lot of even higher ABV beers than this. Like, I'm, what, I'm close to 5,000 reviews now, right? And yeah. I've had a lot of... You don't find it shocking? A lot of embracing? I don't, I don't find it... A, I don't find it to be a very, very dangerous beer, which is what we what we make fun I of. I don't mean it like that, but it's like, wow, no, it punches you. But when, 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 we, when we say a very, very dangerous beer, it's a really high alcohol percentage beer that you can't tell is really high alcohol. Yes. I can tell this one's high yes. alcohol, but it's not as astringent or in my face as a lot of the ones No, I've no. Had. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, you mean like if we were to put an 11.7% wine next to this. Um, this would probably seem a lot mellower. Yes. Oh, I completely agree. But because the, the coffee rounds it out, there, there's that nice molasses, there's that nice... It's, that, it's there, but your first sip of this, do not confuse Oh, and it, it's warming. This would be a great yes. winter beer. Just oh. out, you're, out, you're out, you're shoveling, you're drinking this while you're shoveling. First off, you're going to be drunk and you might not shovel in a straight line, but this would keep you warm. It would keep you warm, but why do you keep trying to dance around the plain and simple fact that this thing punches you in the face the first time you drink it? Holy because I've had shit. a lot worse punches than this. Oh my god! Yeah, no, it it, it hides its uh, its ABV in the nose, but it does not hide it in the. Yeah, the, the the throat warming is from the top of the throat all the way down to the bottom, like it's in your chest too. Uh, I do taste coffee, I do taste chocolate, I do taste the coconut, but the, it's a the, fabulous beer. the alcohol yeah. the alcohol is what cuts the back end. The back end doesn't have that roastiness it or anything clean. like that. It yeah. just has the alcohol percent alcohol astringency. But again, it's not it's not it doesn't just destroy the palate though. No, like, no, you you're right. You want to take another sip. All that strong yeah. coffee. It's like, hey, take another flavors. sip of me. Yes. I'm here for you. No, you're right. Because you know you leave a, it leaves a film usually. You know, even a nice stout it, it leaves your mouth with that. But this, one little swallow, and yeah, you're clean. You're ready for another sip. That is terrible, man. That's terrible. Oh my God, we could get in trouble with that one. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, I give that one a nine. Easily a nine, even with the punch in the face, because that's part of the entertainment, let's be honest. That well, one I mean, this deserves is the thing, an right? extra slot. So thank you for sharing that one. No, no, Because this welcome. is one of, I don't know. I say that a lot. Because a lot of this stuff's new to me, and any new experience is a wonderful thing, but this is fabulous. This is fabulous. I really enjoy this. Um, and that being said, I will give it a nine oh, as well. It's a great stout. I wish it hit the alcohol a little more. A if little it hit the more. alcohol a little more, a it would little probably more. be like a 9.5, a 9.75. I was about to say 9.5 plus, but it really is... Something that I wish, you, I wish the maple came out more. I think if the maple oh, came out I more, forgot about the maple. because this isn't a maple bourbon barrel, right? Like, I'm getting the vanilla, I'm getting the coconut, I'm getting the things you'd expect from a, a no, bourbon barrel, I forgot about but I'm not picking up the maple. And if I picked up that maple, I think, uh, for me personally, I would like it a lot more. 
However, I will give it that this is uh, this has been sitting in the in the spare room in the green room for a couple months now. Um, picked up late, 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 late 2017, I do believe. So it's been like three months sitting in my spare no, room. No, it's not gonna lose freaking yeah no. Hey, I mean, I'm, let's be honest. Oh so, wait, let's be honest. They if have it, a sticker on top of a sticker. Oh, it's probably for Canadian. Yeah. Label. Well, what do they have on the American label? Anything new? Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Yeah, so it must be, I mean, I'm getting that bourboniness then. Maybe that's your woody, woodiness? Yeah, that, uh, that dry, tannic taste in the back end. You know what it was? They don't have the ABV on the back. Uh, that's why they had to have it. I I'm guessing it was uh, a maple, a maple wood bourbon barrel, maybe, is what they mean. Because they added maple syrup. It's on the ingredients label. Um, but again, yeah, you're right. I didn't get a whole lot of maple, but overall, it's a fabulous I mean, beer. Sometimes when you get maple, you get like like organic maple and all that, right? Unrefined, where it just gives off that <laughs> maple flavor, not that super sweetness. Yeah. But I'm not even picking up that really mapley flavor. I mean, it might be there, and I'm, it's just hidden behind the 11.7% alcohol. Well, not just that. It's a lot of coffee, because it even says they added roasted coffee yeah. to it. And, I mean, again, unrefined maple is just maple with a little bit of grittiness, and uh, the coffee would overpower that, too. Yeah, and, yeah, coffee. And dark chocolate and, and stuff like that. I really like this, though. I, I, I'm glad I was able to get some bottles of it. I have another bottle that I'm probably going to sit on for a few years. You can and, just sit this late, nice, huh? Yeah, well, we'll maybe maybe a year or two down the road, Al, me and you will get to the next bottle. Oh, my God. Maybe, maybe we'll be cheering something from that text message there. Yeah, but let's be honest, and we didn't talk about this, but isn't that a new thing where getting into beers that you can, um, not just a vintage beer, but a beer that you can sell her in? See, that's the thing, right? People love cellaring beers. I don't like cellaring beers myself. No. Because, personally, I don't want to spend big money on a beer. No. And then sit on it for years before I drink it. No. Uh, but, I mean, I also get the, the, the concept of it. Hey, let's buy a beer. Let's put it away. Let's save it for when friends are over or a special occasion. I get that stuff. That's... But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm Irish, right? I'm, I, I need to drink it. There's that. Okay. I had an opportunity at one point brewing my own beer. And since we are in Canada, we have this weird enigma of the LCBO here in Ontario. I was able to get some beautiful beers at fairly reasonable prices. And we have that local lady that treats us real good at the LCBO here. <clears throat> so I was able to keep up a bunch of different stuff. And it really is nice. And I would have loved, and I kept some rope for it for a long time, over a year or so. And I was hoping to be able to experience the flavor differences. I don't talking about it's showing off or buying something fancy and sitting it away. I'm talking about loving a beer and being able to say, see how it changes over a period of years. Yeah. Like you say, enjoy it. Yeah. No, and uh, like I said, I get that. It's just if I buy a beer, I'm not buying a beer to think enjoy about sitting here. Now, sometimes it happens unintentionally. Yeah. Like you saw the you saw the green room. So there is a bottle of this sitting in the green room. Well, you've seen the green room. I'm not going to have to get to yeah. this for a long time. No, true it's, enough, but you don't have it set aside. Specifically. Yeah, I don't have it set aside specifically for that. It's sitting in the box of beers I've tried before that I have doubles of. And, uh, yeah, that's where it is until I end up drinking it. Because I usually drink that. I, I, I sometimes go on another channel, and I'm, I'm not going to throw that channel out here because some people might get angry at it. But I go on another channel for his virtual bar every, every once in a while. And... Uh, he just he hangs out with all his buddies and they drink and they play music and this and that and just chat and I go in there every once in a while because they're all good guys they're just not not stand, star quality people to some people I think they're all great guys though but I mean I'm, I'm kind of counterculture myself and uh, that's when I usually pull out the beers I've had before because I come home from work and he's online so I sit down and I drink with them nice anyway guys Nine for both of us? Oh, Bye. nine. A healthy nine.